Hello, hello, Capricorn. Welcome to Ascended Stars. This is Ali Jade bringing you your April 2018 forecast. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, so I have some new decks. Let's go ahead and um, this is the reversal one I'm going to use for you guys. I feel like you're pretty intent. You can handle it. <laughs> Speaking of intense, how was last month for you? March. Um, so we want to call in God, Archangels, Ascended Masters, um, White Light Beings to help facilitate and guide this reading from the Capricorns uh, watching and um, to give you guys guidance, advice and information uh, for their highest calling with integrity and good intention. This is going to be for sun, moon, rising. You may if you have your Venus or maybe if you're not even a Capricorn and you're just watching. All right, so let's see what we have. Um, is a beautiful deck um i'm changing it up because i have new decks so i'm excited to use all of them so everybody's getting like a different deck but i'm using the same oracle cards for everyone and this is the numerology oracle so let's see what the energies um, are influencing you regarding um numerology okay let's see what we have for Capricorn. I feel like a pretty intense energy with you guys, actually, and heavy. So um, this is my herbal deck. I got this one. This is a new deck. Nobody has it. I haven't seen anybody use it except me. So I'm so excited by this deck. It's really awesome. And then we want to see what the astrological influences are, because I do like to add astrology to my readings. Um, we are influenced by the stars and the moon and the sun and the planets. So let's see what we have. What is affecting the most with Capricorn? What is the planetary energy? That one. Okay. So, okay. So this feels intense. For, to be honest with you, it does. Um, okay. Wow. We have the Queen of Wands. She's sleeping. This is the oddest queen of wands I've seen. I haven't used this deck very much, so bear with me, Capricorn. I can already hear you sighing. Um, okay, let's see. Wow. Two of wands. We have fire energy. Wands, wands, wands. So, you know, we are in the fire month of Aries. But it's going to be, like, affecting you guys a lot, it seems. Um, it looks like we have the Knight of Pentacles. So there's slow movement for you. Um, things are not going as fast as you would like, I would assume. Um, and uh, I, I also feel like for romance, some of you are want to be involved with a, um, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And um, they're not moving as fast as you would like or vice versa they see you not moving as fast they probably it's probably the outside influence they don't see people don't see you moving as quickly as fast as you can right and you hear you have this queen of wands um aries leo sagittarius who is sleeping let me show you why don't i show you huh um which is a really interesting energy that she would be sleeping for a fire sign <laughs> Um, so it could be that your, your passion, that you're holding back some of your passion is what I'm picking up. And the reason for this is because you're living in an energy of still healing, 
um, regret, healing from the past. It's the Four of Cups, but I do pick up like a regret energy here. Um, <laughs> Four of Cups. And typically that would be the Five of Cups. But he's looking, this young person is looking out into the distance. Um, it looks like you're not taking action, you're not moving forward. Um, but there is, you know, you're full of, your person full of passion and desire, but it's like you're restrained for some reason is what I'm picking up. And here, it's time for you to make a choice, okay? Um, to move within this passion that you have. You see, you see your ships, you know, the three of wands, you see your ships, but I, I see that um, ball of fire and that. So I feel like, you know, you have to choose and yet it's a three. Maybe you have a lot of options here. Maybe you have three people that you're interested in or three passions. If this is, um, if we're talking about career, like, you know, you're thinking, what am I really going to invest my time, energy, and effort? And funny enough is um, Aries had this card right in the same exact spot, the Ace of Pentacles right here and this is like your thoughts to me so you're thinking you know you see your ships you see you have this passion you're moving very slow you're not taking up you're not really making any decisions as to what you want to do where you want to go how you're moving it seems like you're um you know we do have retrograde energy we have jupiter retrograde with scorpio and uh, mercury retrograde with aries so this, this could be really affecting you in a, in a grand scale. You have the nine of wands. It just, it just seems like, you know, maybe you're thinking everything take make is a lot of effort to move forward and to push on through, you know, because you see things here that are, you're, they're, 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 they're in the horizon, right? They're right around there, but you're, you're not really moving towards them. You're not really there. You know, you're not really meeting them, but you have to pick one of these. So it's kind of like you're just kind of twiddling your thumbs waiting and you're not taking much action. Like here you are waiting again, waiting, maybe waiting for something better. Maybe nothing really floats your boat. Maybe something is just like, eh, eh I really don't feel like it. Nothing's really exciting me that's the knight of pentacles you ain't moving okay interesting so here we have the nine of cups two nines two fours <laughs> yeah you are you are <sighs> You know, this is telling me you're kind of turning your back on love. And who do we love? We have to love ourselves first. So I feel like um, it's time for you to invest in yourself, to, to love on you, and to really um, recognize if no one's been there for you, you've been there for you. Okay? Um, because we have... The Four of Wands, which is the Happy Marriage card or the Happy Home. And we have the Nine of Cups, which is a wish come true. Or you're drinking too much. Um, and, or maybe you were drinking too much in the last month. And you were doing that at home. And you were perfectly happy. And here's more water energy the queen of cups but she's turned around she's reversed and the queen of cups is an unconditional love um she's a very creative you know there's this like all this wand energy fire and there's no um movement here like you're stuck you're not making any choices the even the queen of wands in this deck that i happened to pick for you is sleeping which is really rare i find super rare like you know she's like She's like, it's just both of these, all these cards together also represent, you're just like, eh, eh, I'm just not really, 
nothing floats my boat. It's like, you know, I'm standing still. I'm not really moving towards anything. If anything, it's because you're stuck in the past. See, he's looking facing the past. Here you are dreaming about maybe something that you were passionate about, that you wanted in the past, and it just didn't happen. And so now what you see, what's in front of you, because he's looking at the, at the future, is just not like what you want to move towards. And you have to come to a place of acceptance that, hey, your ships are here. The universe is saying, here, your ships are here. There's a lot to choose from, but you're not really into it. He's standing still. He's wearing red. There's passion. There's desire. Um, there, You do, maybe you want something long lasting here. The four, the four has a happy home, the happy home. But it could be that your, your partner is not giving you what you want, okay? Um, it could be that you you invested in this partner um, for the long haul, right? And you saw, like, you saw a lot of potential in this partner and you made the investment in this partner. I'm going to move forward with this partner. And they, it's just now you're like, I, I was so into it and it was like gung-ho and now I'm not. Now you've had a shift in perspective and you're not and you've turned your back on the love that was between you and this partner um, and it could be a fire sign it could be leo aries um sagittarius but it could be anybody too i mean that's just typical of, of the queen of wands um and and you feel like it's such a struggle nine you have to keep pushing now. It's like, oh, I'm in this. Now I'm in it and I'm pushing. And maybe you wished for that nostalgic energy that you had in the past with this person. And it's not there. Here is um, the Nine of Cups. It, 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 looked, it looked good. It felt good. It tasted good. And now it's not giving you the, what you wanted out of it. It's not delivering the goods. And yet, it's everything that you, you thought you wanted. <sighs> Dang. I don't know what's going on with you guys. So, you know, I just feel it's a continuation saga with you. Um, I feel like you're going to have to push through the Nine of Wands. Push through. Discover really what you know there's the universe is giving you what you want it's here you just have to pick pick it and you have to decide to make that investment put that time and energy and effort into it okay um this energy tells me here that you know you really you really thought somebody was a wish come true. You really thought somebody was a wish come true. Nine of Cups. A union, a connection, a happy home. But there is no love there. There is no love. It's vacant of love. And... Because this is represented by a fire, it could have been lust. And you might have mistaken love for lust. And there's little effort, energy, time that you're interested in putting into it now. So this kind of has turned out into a romance thing. Did not intend for it to happen, but I just give you the messages that come through. Okay, so let's see what the card is. Music, 32. So, um, so dance to the rhythm of music. It's a five. You have to change. Um, just like music is fluid, you have to become fluid and change. I'm going to pick another card because that's always a music. I don't know. Eh, not too crazy about that. So let's see what we have, universe. Please give me a good Capricorn card for my Capricorns. What's going on with them? Top it off. Give me a good topper topper. Happy ending. Look at you. Wow. 96. So, you know, it's up to you to make the choices. 
to move at, you know, switch this around, look into your future, stop, you know, maybe desiring something from your past. Um, I mean, it, it does look like you have everything that you want. You know, what, where you're at is a wish come true. And it, you know, it's, it seems like, you know, being rich doesn't have to do with how much you have on the exterior. It's how much you value what you have. And I feel like, you know, when you change perspective on it, you might see that you have a lot, but, um, it has to do with loving yourself too, you know, nurturing yourself. Uh, it has to do with maybe you have a lot of creativity, something you want to express and you want to be supported. But it's not about you being supported. It's about you doing it on your own, perhaps, and and then the support comes. Okay, um, people are all on their own journey, and I, I find that I personally find a lot of the fire signs they're 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 very fiery and passionate and go getters. You know, uh, Aries has the initiative, Leo has um, the creativity, and Sagittarius you know, has that stamina and gregariousness and that, you know, happy-go-lucky, you know, they're very lucky because they're ruled by Jupiter as well. So they're just very fortunate signs as well. Things just fall into place for the Sagittarius sometimes. And, um, but I find that, you know, they're the, they're the reason why the sentence came, you know, enough about what I think about me. What do you think about me? And sometimes when you get involved with the fire person, um, I love a lot. I love my fire people, but at the same time, it's like, as a, I'm a Virgo. As a Virgo, I'm, I'm always like, well, how are you doing? How can I help you? What's happening with you? Blah blah blah. Um, you know, I don't find that. Um, God, I'm sorry for the Mercury retrograde, but I don't find that uh, energy coming from the fire signs. So it could be that you got involved with somebody who's passionate, creative, and has a lot of desire and sexy and happy-go-lucky, but they never ask you how you're doing. They never ask you how you're feeling. They never say, hey, how can I help you on your project? How can I help you do this and that? And, you know, so that's where it could be void of love, you know, in your subconscious, you're thinking, oh, they don't love me. They're not really there for me. And yet, you know, yet there's, um, there's a happy home and they were a wish come true for you. I mean, they, they kind of like do all this checklist of what you wanted in a partner, you know, but then again, it could be uh, outside influence from mom and pop that you were like, well, this is the perfect mate. And I picked the perfect mate that, you know, I should be happy, but you're not right. So, I mean, I, I'm going deep into this and I don't mean to, but I just, I'm picking up a lot of stuff and you guys got like, this is like a continuation. Like this is like dot, 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 you know, like this is stuff you guys are dealing with this month. Um, a lot of wand energy and no movement. Okay. There's no movement here. You're not making, you're not liking the, what, the what's presented to you. The the queen of wands is sleeping. The, the guy is standing still. He sees his ships, but it's like he's, you know, it's like he has the power. It's like the power is within you. And I see magic here too, because both of these, like the, the pentacle is up suspended and this one has, um, so you have to balance, you know, your emotional and your passion. You have to balance your emotions and your passion. It's like this fine line you tread. And, you know, it's like, this is like a genie saying, ha, you know, you got what you wanted. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? And then you realize, no, I, I thought I would be happy with this, but I'm not. He's got like this grin, like, like, um, like he knows something. He's keeping something. He's keeping a secret and he knows something. It's almost like his intentions weren't pure, you know, is what I'm picking up. And so you, the universe has given you everything you wanted, but were your intentions on the right, you know, were they, were they, did you have good intentions when you made these choices? 
Um, that's where I'm at. Okay, so let's see what the planet influence is. Venus. Venus is in Taurus, okay? It's about luxuries. So maybe you picked this partner because they were able to give you luxurious things. Um, they look beautiful on the outside. You guys look good on camera. You guys, you know, have great sensual sex or something that, you know, just drove you to this situation. Um, so it says the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. So, you know, you're living the high life here. Venus is telling you this is this is part of um, the pentacle energy, you know, having things, monetary goods. But are, is that making you happy? You know, it's it's lacking in emotion. You might have all this stuff, but it seems to be lacking in uh, an emotional fulfillment. OK, so you got strength as well as Aries. Wow. The oak. This is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to read it again. <laughs> this is a lot. I wish it was another one, but you know, because um, I'm reading the same thing and I just got this deck, so that's why I'm excited to read different ones. But let me read it for you. The oak, if I can find it. Uh, oak, okay. So basically it says, stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. So the, the universe has given you what you wanted, but at the same time, it, um, you know, you have to appreciate it. Okay, so drawing the oak card can indicate a period when you are very strong, reliable, and responsible. The mighty oak does not come without warning. However, when the traits of strength and endurance become too rigid, a person can be pushed to the breaking point. Possessing the commitment to keep working for the future is a great thing. But if one works tirelessly towards goals without pause, the buildup of stress and tension can cause health problems to ensue. Um... The flower essence of oak is used for those with a strong personality who may forget to temper their strength. Oak asks you to accept your own limitations and learn to surrender to life. Let go and let God is a nice phase to keep in mind. Avoid unnecessary striving and build the foundations of your goals one brick at a time rather than trying to lift every brick at once. Balance the goal-oriented and driven masculine side with the feminine which allows rather than forces things to happen. This balance is not only necessary for the individual, but also for the human race as a whole. Oak asks us to recognize how excessive striving has caused humankind to wreak havoc on the planet. Putting ourselves in danger, we need to recognize that there is equal strength in both action and reflection. If we continue to repress the feminine part of our inner nature, we more easily fall prey to darker elements, which seek to pull us off the path toward our divine destiny. Oak reminds you to take an occasional break from your work to nourish your intuition and creativity. Yeah, the Venus is about create like a lot of creativity. Um, so it's asking you to balance and temper your your masculine side with your feminine side because Venus represents feminine, and you guys as a mat as the Capricorn represent masculine. So it, it's also reiterating that here as I'm reading it to you. This balance is not only necessary for the individual, but also for the human race. Okay, so did I read that? If we continue to repress, yeah. Oak reminds you to take an occasional break from your work to nourish your intuition and creativity. Uh, you already have the discipline and integrity necessary to achieve your goals. Now it's time to temper your strength with ease and your steadfastness with fluidity. Remember, being too rigid can mean becoming brittle. Even the mighty oak must sway with life's changing wind, winds to avoid falling. So it seems like it's going to bear havoc on you to really um, remain strong. Strong in your desires of what you want. Like the universe is giving you what you want. You have this ability to get your monetary goods and everything. It's not moving fast enough for you. And so, you know, we do have the Mercury retrograde, Jupiter retrograde energy. So, you know, dive into your creativity. Some, something that's been dormant within you in a creative na nature here, the Queen of Wands. Um... And, and and realize that you can utilize your your um, time this downtime you can util you can utilize it 
uh, create um, constructively. And then by the time that the movement starts happening on the 15th of April, you'll be ready, you know, you'll be ready and able to really put more of the effort. It'll reap, it'll reap money for you. It'll reap monetary goods for you. Um, but there's an element of being disinterested and disconnected from your passion, from your, from your connection to self, from your heart. Okay, I think I want to pick another card for you. I'm going to pick a soul card just to top it off because I don't feel. So Spirit, please give me another card as to see what, what's going on with my Capricorns today. I feel like they need just a little bit more guidance to tie it all together. What's happening on their soul journey for the month of April? Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, is, this, this doesn't feel like it helped. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to do my best for you guys. I hope. I hope you guys feel better. You know I love you. And um, God loves you. And you are lovable. You definitely are lovable. But um, maybe you have to let people get closer to you. Don't put that hard barrier, you know. You guys are so awesome. And... I know it's a tough it's tough because you have Saturn in your sign, but it's it's making you stronger, right? So that's why you have the strength card. Um, you are that pillar of strength. And believe me, once you get through it, you know, the Saturn return, um, it leaves these wonderful lessons for you that you'll never ever uh forget. So all right, take care. God bless. Thank you for watching, commenting. Love you. Bye-bye.